10 Best Picks presents the Top 10 Best Photo Scanners. Starting at number 10. Epson Perfection V600. Film continues to be a popular medium among photographers today, and whether you're an active or former analog user, the easiest way to share your treasured moments is by digitizing your film through scanning. Many photo labs offer scanning as part of their services, often using large scanners able to process a full roll of 35mm film in a few minutes. But, just like developing at a lab, having a lab scan your film costs money, which is why many people like the idea of scanning negatives themselves. There are a lot of options when it comes to digitizing film yourself, but some of these methods require complex setups, some have huge equipment costs, and some just aren't very good. Others, meanwhile, are actually pretty good and affordable. Meet the Epson Perfection V600. If you're using the professional mode, the desktop can get crowded real fast with the different modules. There's actually an additional color palette module in professional mode that you can use to alter the hues of colors in your photos that isn't pictured above because I couldn't fit it alongside all the other windows. If you're up for it, the professional mode offers a ton of control, but I think home mode will likely suit most users just fine. Ultimately I think this product is a good option for amateurs and enthusiasts looking for a decent way to scan their current work or for those looking to bring new life to old negatives. But for those desiring both high-quality files and painless turnaround, your local lab is still your best bet if you have one nearby. At Number 9. Canon KanoScan Lide 300. The Canon KanoScan Lide 300 is an entry-level flatbed scanner designed to digitize photographs and for very light document scanning in homes, home offices, and small offices. For the $20 difference between the Lide 300 and the editor's choice Canon KanoScan Lide 400, though, you give up half the resolution, slightly faster scans, and the ability to stand the scanner upright to save desk space. If every penny counts and these perks don't matter to you, the Lide 300 is a perfectly capable light-duty machine. At 1. 7 by 14. 5 by 9. 9 inches and weighing only 3. 6 pounds, the Lide 300 is small and light. It's also the same size as its Lide 400 sibling, except that, as mentioned, the latter comes with a kickstand that holds the chassis upright vertically. Two competing models, the Epson Perfection V19 and Perfection V39 are also about the same size, weight, and price as the KanoScan models, and, like the Lide 400, they both come with kickstands for holding them in a vertical position. The differences among these four flatbed scanners are minimal. As mentioned, the Lite 300, with a maximum resolution of 2400 by 2400 pi, supports only half the resolution than the other three models 4800 by 4800 pi. Connectivity on the Lite 300 consists of USB 2.0 for both power and data. There's no networking, no mobile connectivity, and no peer-to-peer -peer protocols, though you can scan to the cloud by having the Lide 300 dump your scans into a folder on your computer for your favorite cloud service. For an occasional use photograph and document scanner, the entry-level flatbed KanoScan Lide 300 is a good value, but its Lide 400 sibling is only $20 more and comes with valuable extras. Number 8 of my list. Brother ADS 2700 watts. A smaller lower capacity and less expensive sibling to the editor's choice brother image formula ADS 3600W, the brother ADS 2700W wireless high-speed desktop document scanner is a low to mid-volume document scanner designed for micro and small offices and workgroups. Comparable in price and speed to the Epson Workforce S500W which, like the brother models mentioned here, is networkable, the ADS 2700W is fast and highly accurate for the price. In addition, it comes with an easy-to-use color touchscreen and the ability to scan to USB thumb drives, thereby making it an exceptional value, as well as our latest top pick for entry-level networkable document scanners. Measuring 7. 0 by 11. 5 by 5. 7 inches with its trays closed and weighing 5. 8 pounds, the Brother ADS 2700W is slightly smaller and lighter than its most direct competitor, the Epson S500W, 
as well as the similarly priced Canon Image Formula DRC225 which comes in a wireless networkable iteration for an additional $150. The higher capacity and costlier aforementioned brother ADS-3600W, on the other hand, is significantly larger and weighs almost twice as much as its smaller ADS-2700W sibling. When in service, these models' input and output trays extend significantly, making them each about twice their original height and three times longer, but still small enough to sit comfortably on all but the smallest desktops. While we're starting to see more networkable document scanners these days, compared with their non-networkable counterparts, there still aren't many available yet, especially at this price. Networking, of course, allows not only easier access for office or workgroup team members, but it also provides a wider range of workflow scenarios, such as scanning to different PCs on the network or operating the scanner remotely. The Brother ADS-2700W supports both Wi-Fi and Ethernet networking, as well as USB and Wi-Fi Direct, a peer-to-peer -peer connection between your mobile device and the scanner without an intermediary network. The Epson S500W on the other hand, does not support Ethernet. Coming at number 7. Visioneer Road Warrior 4D Small, Light, and Highly Portable the Visioneer Road Warrior 4D is one step above the most basic PC-connected portable scanners, offering duplexing along with a manual feed. What really helps it stand out from the competition, however, is a capable set of included applications, with top-tier programs for document management and optical character recognition, as well as an excellent utility for creating and handling PDF files, although it lacks a business card program. At 1. 6x11. 5 by 2. 6 inches and 1 pound 2 ounces, the Road Warrior 4D closely matches the Brother DS720D in size and weight. It's a little bigger than simplex scanners like the Visioneer Road Warrior 3, but significantly smaller and lighter than the Canon P215 dot setup is standard, with the single supplied USB cable providing both the data connection and power. For my tests, I connected the scanner to a system running Windows Vista. Except for the lack of a business card program, the supplied software nicely covers most general-purpose business needs, with Visioneer's one-touch scan utility, both Twain and Wea drivers, so you can scan from virtually any Windows program with a scan command, and Nuance Omnipage Professional 18 for optical character recognition, Nuance Paperport Professional 14 for document management, and Nuance Power PDF Standard 1. One for creating, converting, and otherwise handling PDF files. Each of these applications is among the best in its category. Buying them separately could easily cost more than the scanner. The Visioneer Road Warrior 4D scanner offers duplexing along with a manual feed, plus top-tier applications for document management, optical character recognition, and handling PDF files. At number 6. Brother DS940DW. Brothers Dsmobile DS940DW is a manual feed portable document scanner designed for low volume, one and two sided scan tasks on the road. Similar to our current top pick, Epson's DS80W wireless portable document scanner, the DS940DW is accurate, comes with a comprehensive software bundle, a battery, and wireless connectivity, and goes the DS80W one better by allowing you to scan to Microsoft flash memory cards. All this taken together, the Dsmobile DS940DW cops an editor's choice for single-sheet portable document scanners. Before diving into a description of the DS940DW, let's look at an important distinction between two types of portable scanners. Single-sheet or manual feed models that accept just one page at a time, and sheet-fed travel scanners with automatic document feeders that hold multiple pages, such as the Editor's Choice Epson Workforce S300W Portable Wireless Duplex Document Scanner. The capacity of the Andorin Franks varies by product, the S300W and several similar sheet-fed portables come with 20 sheet feeders. Obviously, the S300W and its ilk are better equipped to handle multi-page scan jobs, whereas the DS940DW and its competitors are designed for shorter, one- or two-page documents. The advantages of manual feed devices are that they typically cost less and are significantly smaller and lighter. 
wireless support and an internal power source, of course, allow the scanner to operate with no cords or cables, which is convenient, but the DS940 DWS and Anywhere 5's flashcard support lets you scan autonomously without being connected to a laptop, desktop, or handheld device. When you return to your home or office, you simply transfer your scans to your computer a lot less to carry and fuss with. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. Canon KanoScan Lite 400. Aside from an interface redesign and a significant software upgrade, the Canon KanoScan Lite 400 looks and performs a lot like its predecessor, the editor's choice KanoScan Lite 220. In addition to doing a terrific job of scanning photos, though, the Lite 400 focuses a lot more on text document scanning and processing than the previous model, making it much more adept at converting scanned text to editable text. This time around, the standout feature is the supporting software, which has made significant strides in speed and accuracy since 2015. Without question, the Lite 400 usurps the 220's editor's choice. Canon offers a slightly less robust version of this scanner, the Lide 300. For the 20 bucks you save when buying the Lide 300 instead of the 400, you give up half the maximum resolution and a few other features, including the kickstand. You can operate the Lide 400 from its 5-button control panel on the front edge or from the software bundle on the CD-ROM that comes in the box. As with most scanners, regardless of size and type, the software provides a much more versatile set of scan configuration and destination options than the control panel. We'll talk about the software interface and features in a moment. No matter which option you choose, though, it's important to note that the Lite 400 connects to and communicates with only one device, a single computer connected to the scanner via the USB cable that comes in the box. The entry-level Canon KanoScan Lite 400 is a software-rich flatbed photo scanner that also handles text documents with ease. Coming in at number 4 of my list, Epson Perfection V39. The Epson Perfection V39 is basically a throwback to the kind of flatbed scanner that used to be standard. Most flatbeds today can scan film, a design choice that's largely a response to the popularity of MFPs, which rarely include film scan capability. The V39 leaves out the ability to scan film, so you don't have to pay for the feature if you don't need it, and focuses instead on giving you higher quality scans for photographic prints than most MFPs can manage. More important, it delivers enough to make it our new editor's choice for a budget home scanner for high quality photo scanning. The Canon 120 offers 2400 pixel per inch optical resolution, which is far higher than you need for scanning photos to view on screen or print at their original size. However, the other three models offer 4800 pi, which lets you crop in on a much smaller section of a photo, enlarge it, and retain more fine detail than you can with a lower resolution. The V39, Epson V19, and Canon 220 all offer high-quality photo scans, but differ in other capabilities. The Epson V19, for example, lacks software that will let you scan and save to an editable text file, a feature that most people need at least occasionally. The Canon 220 and V39 are more directly comparable and can both scan to editable text format. However the V39 did a little better on text recognition in our tests, which is just enough to give it the edge. The Epson Perfection V39 flatbed scanner is an excellent choice if you want to scan photographic prints as well as short documents to searchable PDF and editable text formats. It's our top budget pick for high quality photo scanning. At number 3, Fujitsu ScanSnap iX1400. Fujitsu's ScanSnap iX1400 sheet document scanner is a pared down sibling to the editor's choice winning ScanSnap iX1600. To save $100, you'll give up wireless connectivity and an onboard control panel. The iX1400 has no Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or mobile device support. The USB 3.2 interface can only connect to a single desktop or laptop computer. But that's fine for many applications, such as scanning IDs at your facility's front desk or documents for your one-person business. 
If you need to configure and run scans from more than one station, from handheld devices, or from the scanner itself, you should investigate the iX1600. Otherwise, the iX1400 is a fine, user-friendly for small office and home office purposes. At 6. 0 by 11. 5 by 6. 3 inches with its trays, closed and weighing 7. 5 pounds, the iX1400 matches, not only its iX1600 sibling size and girth, but also that of the iX1500, the iX1600's predecessor. It consumes about the same amount of desk space as several competing entry-level and mid-range scanners, including Brothers Editor's Choice winning Brother ADS2700W and Epson's Workforce DS575W wireless duplex document scanner. Canon's Image Formula DRC230 Office Document Scanner weighs about 2 pounds less than the iX1600, but stands about 3. 1 inches taller. The iX1400 is designed to be configured and operated via the bundled ScanSnap home interface and document processing software. There's no control panel at all, just a single scan button that will scan a document to your computer in accordance with the workflow profile you've set up in ScanSnap Home. We'll look more closely at that software in a moment. The entry-level Fujitsu ScanSnap iX1400 Sheet Document Scanner lacks a few key features, such as networking capabilities and an onboard control panel. It's best suited to simpler scanning tasks with just one computer. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Coming at number 2, Epson Perfection V550. Epson has a knack for making good photo and film scanners that don't break the bank, and the Epson Perfection V550 photo scanner is no exception. It is very similar to the editor's choice Epson Perfection V500 which it's replacing, but with two notable differences. It adds a utility that easily uploads scans to email, Facebook, and several cloud-based services. Gone, however, is Photoshop Elements, leaving the V550 without a bundled photo editing program. Still, it brings to the table impressive scan quality, the ability to scan multiple 35mm slides or film negatives, and the digitalized hardware-based solution for film scanning. All the CERNs of the editor's choice for photocentric flatbed scanners. The V550 measures 4. 6x11. 2x19. 1 inches and weighs 9. 6 pounds. It has a maximum scan area of 8. 5 by 11. 7 inches, and a maximum optical resolution of 6400 pi. It can scan up to 4 35mm slides, 2 rows of 6 negatives each, or medium format film, with the removable transparency unit. Also, it will scan multiple photo prints at a time, as its auto-edge detection technology automatically detects the size of each image, crops it accordingly, and saves it as an individual file. Setting up the V550 is easy, just install the software, plug in the power cord and supplied USB cable, and turn the scanner on. I installed it on a system running Windows Vista. Software includes two scan utilities, Epson Scan with Epson Easy Photo Fix technology, plus Epson Easy Photo Print, plus an OCR program, Abbey FineReader 9. Zero Sprint. It has both Twain and WIA drivers that support scanning from nearly any Windows program with a scan command. Unlike the Epson V500 and the Epson Perfection V600 which came with Adobe Photoshop Elements, it lacks a separate photo editing program. The Epson Perfection V550 Photo Color Scanner makes high-quality scans from both photos and film, and can scan directly to Facebook and cloud-based sites. And number 1. Fujitsu ScanSnap iX1600. The Fujitsu ScanSnap iX1600 is simply a terrific desktop document scanner. It's a replacement for the Fujitsu ScanSnap iX1500 we reviewed back in December 2018, and a direct competitor in both price and features to the editor's choice winning brother ADS 2700 watts. The iX1600 is relatively fast and highly accurate, and it comes with Fujitsu's well-regarded ScanSnap and ScanSnap Home software. This end of the field has many great products to choose from, but the iX1600 stands out with its excellent software bundle, performance, and ease of use, not to mention a very reasonable list price. That makes it our latest top pick among desktop document scanners for Soho users. 
Fujitsu is launching two scanners together, the ScanSnap iX1600 and the iX1400. The latter is slightly slower than the iX1600 and lacks the intuitive color touchscreen and a few other features. Though the iX1600 costs $100 more, it's a better value overall for the price. When you extend the trays to place them in service, all these machines increase in length by three times or more. Make sure your intended location for the scanner can accommodate it unfolded. The iX1600 comes with a 50-sheet single-pass automatic document feeder. A 50-sheet Andorin francs is the standard size for scanners in this price range. In fact, all the machines mentioned here so far have 50-page feeders, except Canon's DRC230, which holds 60 pages. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video and hit the like button.